Hi guys and welcome back to Down to Mars. Um, I'm Abby. I'm Bex. And I'm Nia. Okay, um, have you guys seen the whole like Will and Jada situation? I mean, I mean well, <laughs> well, obviously, I know you've seen it, but I feel like it's just led me to kind of think about relationships in this day and age and... Well, like an open... Yeah, like what's, what's the norm in relationships mm. in this day and age? I feel like how they used to be and what was common, you know, back in the day, it's mm. changed a lot recently. Like the way that like, their discussion, how they keep, kept their marriage alive and stuff, it just sparked a kind of thought in my head, like, mm. is that the norm these days? Do like, you think it's normal though? Well, for me, mm. I would never be caught up in an open relationship. That's something I know I wouldn't be able to handle. But, I See, mean... but that's the thing. Is it normal? What's normal? Yeah, and my... I don't think it's something that's only... Like, obviously, you said it's, like, different now or different to, like, traditional yeah. relationships. But I don't actually think it's anything new. Um, my thoughts is you're always going to... Your idea of a... Rela- my idea of a relationship and what's cool with me or what I desire, what I don't, what wouldn't accept, might be different to yours. It's probably going to be different to yours, like, yeah. certain aspects. Yeah. So I think, obviously... we. Because we're so used to seeing your traditional marriage, husband, wife, nobody else involved, we get caught up in that thinking, oh my God, so they had somebody, she was sleeping with somebody else, or blah, blah, blah. Mm. Three yeah, sins, but, I mean, I've had some if you're in a relationship and you feel like, okay, I need to now in- incorporate someone else into this to spice up the relationship. You should. I have to be. You shouldn't be in that so relationship. Are you talking anymore? about threesomes, or are you talking about a complete yeah. open relationship? Well, both. If you've got to have somebody else added to the equation, then maybe it's time that you need to... I don't think... I, I, I disagree. Pers- so you'd be open to... Uh, listen, obviously, right, marriage. First of all, <laughs> let me say marriage, yeah? yeah? Marriage is not something that I highly desire. Do you know what I mean? If, I, if I'm in a situation and I feel like, you know, I love you, I really want to solidify this, then maybe okay. I might think about marriage. But I think in terms of a relationship... I'm not... (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Right. No, okay, cool. Threesomes, I'm not against them because I think it it doesn't... That doesn't constitute you being disloyal. I think think it's it's just just to chime in. I think with threesomes, yeah, it's fair game, isn't it? Like... It is, it's enjoyable for the man and the woman if it is a, it. like... If your man, man might not even be on it, yeah. but yeah. you want to do it. Yeah. If, if you both are in agreement and you can work with it, why, why not? not? Yeah. Why not? Obviously, it's not for everyone, innit? And I think that's why when I said about every, what everyone considers normal and what would be what would be cool for me might not be cool for you. So you said that's about fine. A, a threesome in a relationship to keep the... I think that's more for me... Not that, to keep the nothing, no. Um, if I was with someone and... That was something that they desired, and I too felt that yeah, I wanted to do it. Then I would. Wouldn't do you it. see that as a bit of a red flag? No. Why is that going to be a red flag? Like because what if do you mean you're feeling like you, I personally think any time that I've heard somebody speak about wanting to to do that, their relationship's on the rocks. Their per, their partner, their girl or their boyfriend is not fulfilling think, them enough, so they need to add something else. I think it just depends on. That's when, like, sex for me, I can separate from my emotion. So sex is something that can be quite physical, but it doesn't necessarily to, need to have emotion. For me to be in a relationship with somebody, it's an emotional attachment mm. that I've got with somebody. Yeah, obviously the sex is emotional, I believe, but I feel like sex is not dependent on emotion for me. So I feel mm. like I could have a threesome where it's like, there's no emotion involved with the third per- person, but for me, an open relationship is a little bit more technical because yeah. it's, it's an open relationship. Do you know what I'm saying? It invites emotion into, yeah. into the dynamic. And I think that that's where it starts to get into the grey area. Yeah. So for me personally, I would say threesomes, yeah. Open relationship, probably not. No. I'm on the same wave. Obviously, you said about it, it's, it's like a red flag or whatever. It's not for, for me. For you. Because I think oh, if you've had a discussion, I think communication is key in these kind of situations. If you and your partner have good communication mm. and... That's something. Doesn't have to be something to spice it up. Doesn't have to be something just because you're. It's on the rocks. Like you can be in the best place ever. Your relationship can be secure, solid. Probably it's going to be more likely to happen when it is secure and, and solid. That you and feel more yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, everyone has sexual desires, sexual fantasies that they want to fulfil. Why would you not want to do that with the person that you're 
closest with or do you know what I mean that mm. you can trust and you know okay we can try it. if it's not our thing we're not going to do it again yeah. if it's our thing maybe we'll do it again yeah fair play I mean my opinion is obviously different I just think once you open that door when do you rein it in do you know what I mean I get like, why you're saying and it, I suppose though. I suppose it's just different because maybe my experiences of relationships are different maybe I've not been in a relationship where I felt completely secure yeah. that I'm comfortable enough to okay. do that and not feel a way about it. Mm. Like, if I probably did that, someone's probably going to get killed by the end of it. Like, if, if the relationship... <laughs> I'd be too jealous. No, I'd actually be too jealous. Like, I'd be like, what the hell's going on? Like... <laughs> but I think you should only do it if, yeah. when it comes to re- doing it in a relationship. If you've got to be completely secure. Yeah, yeah definitely. And you need to communicate your feelings. See, I'd feel more likely that I would do that with somebody that I'm seeing. Right, that's the head I've got right now. Than, I mean, <laughs> not that I would... <laughs> No, but I mean, if I love somebody, I think I'll be too jealous. Uh, that's my mind at the moment. I get it, though. Do you I know get what I'm, I'm, I'm a jealous yeah, type, I'm not going to lie. So. Yeah. But it's like, that you're looking at it with the perspective that you're going to enjoy it. Yeah. Or you're not yeah. even yeah. thinking yeah. about yeah. it. You're going to enjoy it and you're going to be, yeah. like, in the maybe, corner Maybe jealous. I would. Maybe I wouldn't. I don't know, but I suppose I'll find out without I'll cross that bridge. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, yeah, on the topic of marriage, you were saying that that's not something that you really strive towards. What, getting married? Yeah. Yeah, it's not, I don't feel like it's, um, I think nowadays there's so much, like, pressure on doing things, like, when you get to a certain age, you, like, if, you, yeah. if you're 30 and you have no kids or you've not been married, it's mm. like, oh, you're something's not, not, you're not, not doing, doing life right. right. Yeah, something's yeah. not right. Um, but for me, it's just very circumstantial. circumstantial. Yeah, so it depends, like, all right, if I feel, if I'm with someone and I meet someone and we feel that way... That's great. That like, I'll, you know, I'll be yeah. open to it. But I'm yeah. not gonna stress myself and put pressure on myself. Like, yeah, by the time I'm 30, I need to be engaged. Like, mm. I need to get. You hear about that all the time. But what about, about, about a baby? So 30, yeah. As a woman, yeah, you get to 30, you ain't got no kids. Because I feel like nowadays people have babies more than married. They do. Would you, yeah. they would do. You yeah, like baby, baby, baby showers are like? more seen than you see proposals or marriages. Mm-hmm. Like, I see baby showers it's all true. the time. Yeah. Everyone's having babies, especially this year. Oh, <laughs> looking at why hair. do we... <laughs> Everyone's getting pregnant. Why do, we, why do we care about it so much? I feel like there's a bit of, like... Obviously, things have changed in terms of, I think, like, back in, in the day, I suppose women were more probably dependent on men, so they strive for marriage more. Okay. So I feel like now, it's not as... It's not, as, it's not necessary, do you know what I mean? Like, a lot of people, like, women are just as equal, like living their life like you don't need a man to you do you know can, what I mean yeah, like, yeah, yeah. that depends on what marriage means to you for some people like yeah. marriage is genuinely a celebration of love of course but that yeah. doesn't really make sense to me because it's not really like a romantic thing it's just like a or, it, it's more of like a state like a legal document it's not yeah. really obviously like but the see, ceremony itself is romantic but is, is the actual is marriage like a gesture of romance I think if anything it puts more it puts more pressure on... It's like when you're... If you're linking someone and then you put a title on it and you're... That's what your are boyfriend. we? Mm. Yeah, it's like, OK, I now you're boyfriend. my boyfriend, you need to do certain <laughs> yeah, things. Yeah, and, or yeah. now you're my girl, you yeah, can't do I this. Like, do you know what I mean? Okay, like, okay. Why is it right, different? So put it like this. You're in a relationship now. You've been with someone since you was 20. You're now 30. You've got two kids. Everything else is... Huh? 10 years. <laughs> I don't know, okay. Are you not married? <laughs> well, exactly. She's you said, you just said 10 years and we're not married. Yeah, because but you said that you don't see no pressure. Run. I think oh, that's a long run. Like, but you said you don't see the importance of marriage. Yeah. I, I want to get married. So I'm thinking, at some point... Why do you want to get married? Because I suppose that's what I've grown up seeing. Like, I've seen my sister get married, aunties, parents, you know what I mean? So it's like, that's something that I would... I, I value that. Not saying I value... I, I'm not saying I want... It has to be saint yeah, all of this, all of this. <laughs> Are you I'm sure? Not, I'm not <laughs> That's what you want um, deeds out. Of, yeah, like, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I would like that, but no. you want a big wedding to post on social media? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, don't try to draw me out. No. What wedding do you want? Yeah, exactly. She's already been saying she wants a lobster for everyone at her wedding. Don't even I know I want serpent and her for everyone, <laughs> and I want the girl to sing. That's good. Yeah, I'll get it. <laughs> no, but mine's not. It's not so much about um, how much you spend or whatever. It's just more about. I just like the idea of the union, do you know what I mean? Like, mm. being as one. Mm. But, um, and I think if you're really in love with somebody and you're doing everything else, why not? I don't even care about it being a super extravagant wedding. Mm. But I do see what you mean, because, like, I've been having conversations recently with, like, colleagues and stuff, and they were talking about how, like, over lockdown, they've seen one of their friends get proposed and she's kind of got her back up, like, so when am I going to get proposed to then? And, and is it, I think that's, like, that's... If, if I saw you guys getting... That's not going to make me think, OK, checking my relationship now... I've seen you get proposed and you're getting married. That 
that's to me is the wrong kind of but attitude but it's pressure it's, it's, yeah and you not even realizing it you're being pressured by do you know what i mean like all oh, your friends have got it's kids cool. yeah. mm-hmm. you're thinking in the back of your head oh like do i need to have kids like, mm. am i waiting too long like even mm. on the subject of kids for me it's not something that i want right now maybe in like four years but what puts ideally, you off what puts you off of that of a marriage what, right now yeah. off, off of marriage of a marriage of a motherhood of, of right now yeah um I, i'm not in a i'm not in a space where it's practical viable, yeah like yeah. if it marriage if i was in oh, a relationship or at a point where it felt like okay this is right for yeah me. i yeah. want to marry you mm-hmm. then that's mm-hmm. when i'll consider it when it comes to kids um when i do decide to have children there's a certain place that i want to be not even like financially or anything but just like i think mentally mm. i have to take care of myself first in order yeah. to be able to give 100 percent to a child mm. obviously if you have a child you're you're gonna do any i'm gonna do anything to make sure I can give them 100%. But yeah. I think I just want to be in a place where it would be easier. Mm. Financially, um, emotionally, I want to yeah. be, like, have that life experience that makes it easier for me to pass that on to, to my children. Child, yeah. Also, I think people um, underrate, like, I mean, I've not had a child, but I know that it, your life does change drastically. And I think people don't necessarily consider that until it hits them. Do you know what I mean? Ooh. And I think that's something for me that I'd, that plays a big factor that, obviously... If I was in a relationship, I wouldn't just think about having a child unless I knew I was ready yeah. to kind of change my life and my priorities and the things that I want to do. I know that certain things would be put on the back seat because I'm now a mum or because I've got someone else to think about consistently. It's a big commitment. You know what I mean? It is. So Obviously, I had my child when I was 21. And um, to be honest with you, like, I'll be real, it's not for the faint-hearted. I know, like, personally, the type of person that I am, I could pattern it. And I knew when I got pregnant, I could pattern it. Do you know what I'm saying? But I would not advise it to somebody who is unsure, is in a in a bit of a weird place with themselves. Not weird, but as a young person, like, you are going through a lot of emotions. And it, yeah. it's one of them things where if you're not in a very, very stable situation, or even if you are in a very stable situation, at that age, I would say, like, a young age, I'd say, like, Minus 25, because I think that that is a young parent to me. Um, Even if you are in a stable situation, you can't 100% say whether or not your relationship's going to last. Do you know what I'm saying? So if you are are waiting for your relationship to be stable, you might be waiting forever. forever. Yeah, you never know. You know what I'm saying? So that's the the way I look at it. You can never predict how it's going to No, but you're right in saying that it does change... Um, your whole life so if you're not prepared to take on that responsibility or you're not even prepared to acknowledge that that could be a factor yeah you're gonna put yourself in a very very sad it's a sad choice for you you know what what? having a baby i think for me is more of a commitment than than getting married to someone Mm, because when you have that child that's your you're taking on a responsibility for life isn't it depending on obviously how you view it your morals and stuff but for me obviously i'm I'm, i want to be there for my child Forever, for yeah, as long course. as they need me. Walk away from that. Yeah. If I marry someone and I ain't feeling divorce. it, I'm out. Do you know what I mean? But I can't, you can't do that to your kids. But <laughs> obviously, people do, innit? I'm yeah. not trying to be that person. So I would definitely give more thought to having a child. And just based on, obviously, I've got friends that have kids. You've got a child. Like, yeah. And I see you navigate it so well, obviously, take it on and, and handle things. I'm just thinking. Thank you. Can I do that? Could I do that? Okay. Like, <laughs> how? How would I do it? Like, it's, a, yeah. it's a big pressure. And I think now, as you said, we see more baby showers than we see weddings. But I, do you think that there's some sort of, like... Guilty. Guilty. <laughs> <laughs> but do you think, like, there's a kind of... I don't know... Not It's phenomenal in the word. Like, as in, like... Not a phase, but I feel like it is quite cool to be a mum... At the moment, I'll do you know what I'm trying to say? I, I like can't a baby, baby on board, yeah, 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 like to yeah, have a little baby, right a bit of an accessory. Like people think it's cute. I get it, but it's like this is not a toy. This is actually a child. This I is, think it's you know it's what I'm saying. a lot by social media. I yeah. do actually think because you, you you know you see you got these celebs. You yeah, see Kim like, Kardashian posting her yeah, babies Kylie, and Stormy yeah. with the Fendi yeah. brand. And girls oh, are liking Fendi. it, putting it on their story like, oh, you're giving to a boy. You're having your Fendi brand. Sorry. <laughs> no, I'm joking. no, but it's true. But people do get gas yeah, like dropping hits to their man. Yeah, no, it's true. They, they want to have a kid. You're not even like you're. You're not yeah, ready. You're not, do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, it's not by force. Think about it. Consider it. That's what. I, that's my thoughts on it. And the thing is, as well, is like 
you just got to think of the child more than anything because children are affected. And I think that's the selfish decision that some people make is they don't think about how your that kind of your decisions can affect the children. Do you know what I mean? Say things go wrong between you and your partner and you guys are just not dealing with each other properly. That will affect. But then the you child. can obviously with that you can never. 100%. Yeah, anyway. yeah. You, you can't be married, married yeah, and yeah, off for yeah, 10 years, yeah. have a kid, and then you, after a well, couple of months, you're divorced. I know of both, both situations where people ain't been together, had the child been together, and then where and people have been together, had the child, and ended up not being together. Yeah. So I don't think that there's any like solid way of, of telling how it's going to go. But you as a person, and, and it is the woman, unfortunately, you know, not unfortunately, fortunately <laughs> as well. What do you mean? It's the woman. It's now. all lot like, well, you carry the child, and you need to know that ultimately, if it goes tits up, it's on me. Yeah, the, pres- you know? the pressure. It is, it is, it is. So I feel like women, especially, especially with that, I think there's a quite a bit of a craze with this baby mom culture, as you were saying. Mm. Women need to be very, very aware that ultimately the, the responsibility does fall on them. Yeah. So I think that once you gauge that element, I think the baby mom culture will phase out. Because do you think? I do, because I think that a lot of women don't really gauge that, you know, it's me by myself. If the man decides not to provide yeah. or you know and it's unfortunate that you have to think that way but you gotta be you, smart. you just have to yeah you have to bear See, it in mind. i think for as long as there's less of an importance placed on marriage, marriage yeah I was gonna say that. not that like and i'm not saying that there should be more importance placed on it but i think for as long as that's happening i do feel like this whole baby mom culture is just going to continue to to rise. But I think that that decline in marriage is definitely down to the decline in religion because marriage is a religious institution. Yeah. And I feel like less and less people are religious, religious these yeah. days. Well, we're beca- I think we're just becoming more liberal as yeah. a society, do you yeah. know what I mean? So we're open to things that we wouldn't necessarily be open to before. Mm. And I think people realise, you know what? I don't need a man, like, yeah. necessarily. I don't, well, I need, don't to... need to follow this rule. Yeah. Well. Yeah. How much yeah. women do you hear going to get sperm, don't freeze their yeah. eggs, don't get sperm? Yeah, they don't need... I'm all for that. Yeah. I'm actually all yeah. for it. I know some people say, obviously, it goes against nature, blah, 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 but it, I think that's more healthy than deciding to lie down with someone, have a kid with them, and you know that there's no... You don't see any future in it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So you've just, yeah. Or you're unstable. Yeah, like you and then you're even... going to put a kid through a, a nasty breakup yeah. or a yeah. divorce. Like, if you yeah. can do it and you know that you've got the means to do it by yourself, why not? Yeah. yeah. No, no, it makes sense, 100%. Definitely. Also, um, in regards to, well, open relationships and topic of like marriage and stuff, do you feel like marriages you know sometimes you say like they i suppose today they're not as common i feel like maybe they were probably more common before because there wasn't that freedom of like living together and having all the perks of like relationships as there are like you see now people are dating guys within three months of dating them they're like moving, yeah, yeah living with them and stuff like that like that was something to like look forward to and give you, encourage you, like, even sex before marriage wasn't really a thing, so, like, now people are doing all of these things, that's also something that I think is a, a factor on as to why marriage isn't as common anymore. But, because you can do everything else without the title. Yeah. Well, or not the title, but, you know... I agree I mean. with that, to be honest. I do actually agree with that. But then you have to think, like, even some people that do decide to get married, they're not having conventional marriages, like... They're not always going to be living together. You mentioned about living together. like They, they sometimes might live apart. So yeah. I feel like people are finding different ways to have these more, like, traditional relationships, like a marriage. Yeah. So I feel like where previously it would be expected, like, oh, you get married, then you move in together, then you have a baby. Like, I feel like that order as such is not as common anymore. Like, you yeah. could well get married and one could live here and one could live... And then you say, actually... I don't even want any. We don't want kids. So I feel like it's just about, if you are getting into a marriage or even a very serious relationship, it's about finding what works for you yeah. and, and being able to navigate that and, and communication. I think you mentioned about communi- communication. Yeah. That's yeah. what I think it yeah. is. Because as, as I said, I think like what I look for in someone is going to differ to what you look for what, and what you look for in yeah. a relationship. Do you know what I mean? But I think if you communicate that like you, and you say to someone from the jump, listen, I'm not really... I, I'm not on marriage. Or... I, I, I want to be able to still go out there and, and do my thing or blah, blah, blah. There's going to be someone out there that is going to be accepting of that. Do you know what yeah. I mean? That is probably going to be on the... You can find someone that's on the same wave as you. Yeah. Just do that. Like, yeah. there's, there's, there's no pressure on it. I, I don't think there's a... Yeah, but you don't think there's... But people, they put pressure. 
They'll be yeah. putting pressure, like, you're saying after 10 years. Who said after 10? Like, I said it. Yeah. yeah. Imagine, like, would you put pressure? Like... I, I personally I wouldn't would. put pressure. I wouldn't put pressure, <laughs> but I just wouldn't get to 10 years and I'm not married. Yeah, so no, that's, that's a long stretch. We'd have that conversation yeah. before even in a relationship. I want to yeah. know that we're even on the same space before I'm committing to a relationship with anyone. Sorry, I ain't got time to wait. That's People one pro that I see though. in marriage that it just gives you a little bit of security. So say yeah, like, like yeah. I've spent 10 years with you and, you know, we've both been grinding, like we've got, we've got staff, like, yeah, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, we're, yeah, in a, yeah. we're in a good place and then, cool, we have to get a divorce. At least... There's, for me anyway, there'll be some kind of clarity, something in place yeah. <laughs> that will ensure that my life's not just gonna. It won't take away our riches. Yeah. Yeah. No, like my life's just not gonna change drastically. But you see, like with Cassie, Cassie was there with Diddy for how long? Like, yeah, no, that was, I'll never understand. I feel situation. sorry, I'm not gonna lie. But obviously, we're not in it, so we don't know. She, yeah. she might have, I think she benefited from it. She, you, she might yeah, have been really young for a child. You're being with someone for that long. You don't know that, though. Well, the minute she left yeah, him, she, she got had, pregnant, she got so pregnant. She yeah, but that's baby. different situations. Mm. When she was with Diddy, mm. that might not have been something that could have worked for that. Yeah, she met someone new, the vibe was there. But then they got married. A lot of people had a lot to say about her situation because. She left, well, we don't know if she left him, he left her, whatever, but we're gathering that she left him and within a few months jumped into another relationship. And, like, if a man was to necessarily do something like that, people, I, I feel like it's not really frowned upon as much as, like, people are quite harsh on women. Like, well, yeah, you're, you're considered, like, a whore or something. Or look at, like, <laughs> look at the baby mum I mean. baby mom situation, though. It's like, OK, cool, a man, future, my uncle is going to have ten baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but imagine if a girl now had 10 baby fathers, what are people yeah. going to show about yeah. that? Yeah. Should we get dragged? Yeah. But it gets a guy, though, but why? Why? It's... it's it's, it's the society we live in, but it's not right, though. Sexism. I don't think it's... It is, it it's is, sexism. It is, it is, yeah, sexism. But it's not right. It's the same way that um, when a woman is speaking about her sexual experiences openly, or whatever, that it's, it's a problem. When, when female rappers talk about... Obviously, I, we can say it, we can see female rappers talking a lot about sex mm. when they talk about it it's like oh all she does all she wants to do is rap about man and blah 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 but men, men do, do the same time. thing yeah, yeah they've been doing and it yeah do you know what i mean there's not yeah it's just how how things are but it's definitely a culture that i think that we need to shift yeah and i think do you that's think why that's these... possible though to shift 100 like, percent. what would you advise or what would you think we could like as a society, could be could do differently. To... Well, I think for starters, conversations like this, yeah, um, because they open it up, let, let people mm. like share their opinions, um, and realize that there's not just one uh, one dimensional way of thinking. Mm. There's not just one way to do life. Do you know what I mean? There's yeah. there's many ways. But I think if people focus more on doing what's right for them and what feels good for them, then we'll be going in a a good direction rather than I don't think it's possible I think that this generation especially has such a like fear of being vulnerable and like being yeah. like, especially when they're dating and like it's, everything's games I, I haven't dated for a long time but from my <laughs> friends I hear like the stories and yeah. stuff so it's... I just get that there's this big fear of like being vulnerable being open and I think that the most the, the key way to, to navigate relationship is being open yeah. communicating 100%. when you're dating somebody exclusively now you need to be having conversations raw what do you want from like do you want a, a big yard or you maybe a loft warehouse do you want kids one yeah. two it's not it's not something to be like shying away from mm. have these conversations yeah. because then like sometimes put your cards out do you know what i'm saying because then mean, you can't be disappointed are, i think a lot of people are probably apprehensive of doing like mm. i know if i was dating somebody i mean i'm Sometimes I do play games, I'm not going to lie. Like, I, I, I play a lot of games. I just <laughs> make no, 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 like vulnerable, mm. I feel like it's all it's considered but that's a weakness. All part of it, though. Like if you're yeah, but, choosing to be in a relationship well, with I someone, that can make you feel a bit like yeah, afraid. Yeah. Do you know what and I mean? your experience are always obviously going to have a, factor. a big influence on it. But I think, like even for me, I find myself quite, or oh, I think I'm quite open. Like, I think in terms of communication yeah. and stuff, especially in a relationship, that's yeah. something that I'll prioritize always. Yeah. But at the same time, some some things are a bit 
you, you do get a little bit, not scared, but you're yeah. cautious to about even talking about like having a baby or talking about marriage. For me, <laughs> it's like, a like, like, yeah, like, <laughs> She wants to have a child. <laughs> and you don't, sometimes you don't necessarily know what you want as well. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Like, it, de- yeah. it depends on the situation. So yeah. you That's might have gone into a situation key. not thinking, oh, I don't, I don't want to get married or I don't want to have yeah. kids. You get in a situation, you're like, rah. I want to lock this one down, you know. Like, mm. I, wanna just, I, I do want to have a child with him. That's like, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I know that I said that I wasn't, but... but it's like, what do you think about? Yeah. Okay. yeah, no, it's real. You're right, yeah. still. That's a big... That's I feel a like big... you have to definitely yeah. become vulnerable. That's one thing that I think in... Like, when you're dating somebody, you have to be prepared to... Yeah. Become vulnerable, and I think... Yeah, you have to be open-minded. Sometimes that can be a challenge. And that's part of the, the, the magic. Yeah. <laughs> I think as well, though, I also think, one thing that I would say from experience is that if it doesn't come natural, if you do not feel like, if it doesn't feel natural, like, right to be open, it's probably not, you're not meant to. I personally Mm. think that if it doesn't flow, it's probably a sign. That's a good Do you know what I mean? If if you struggle, if you struggle, but if you struggle to get that connection or for things, things, things flow with the right people, I think. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, so I think... If it, it doesn't, doesn't flow, flow, that's a bit of a... Let a it go. Yeah, if it doesn't flow, <laughs> let it go. I definitely like that one. That'll be my next caption. <laughs> but how much people get divorced, Cher, and they say, well, when I was getting married, I had a funny feeling. Oh, yeah. I knew it wasn't right yeah. for me. Exactly. Oh, that that is marriage. Capital yeah. F for... F U C K E R Y. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? Like, the yeah. same big wedding but and you knew deep down. A lot of people just they go with they just they just try and ignore the red flag. I'm, I'm gonna like, I've ignored red flags. We know. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Like, it's not about me. <laughs> but I think sometimes you just ignore it and hope that things are gonna be better or that you can change the situation. And ultimately, that's what I said. If it don't flow, let it go. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's the caption for this video. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if something isn't working, then yeah, you shouldn't really force it but, but do you okay but do you though yeah because I'm in relationships sometimes and I think this is this is another negative thing about social media and that pressure on relationships you're just expected uh, like oh it's meant to be a perfect relationship find the perfect man who treats yeah. you like a princess and yeah that's fine that's all you have to do but I don't think it works like that I feel like you need to you, you work and sometimes I find well not with all men because I can't speak for all men but sometimes men they need to see a little bit more commitment or they need to like they need time for you to get certain things like you want to be treated like a princess straight away or you want to get married straight away but i feel like you need to evoke that in yeah. some men i feel like, like you, quite, mm, at the same time i feel like shop. i get what you're saying but i feel like you would know whether something is going somewhere or something isn't when like from my experience when i'm speaking to people i know when it's dead in the water when the, <laughs> I know. Yeah, but you say that. It's over. But have you ever been in a relationship and you see signs that it's not going there and you're still in a relationship? (laughs) Yeah. Exactly. Because once you're emotionally (laughs) invested in something, it becomes becomes harder, obviously. Yeah, of course, of course. But what I think is like, you know when you can... I personally think I would know whether I can work with somebody or whether... Like, whether this is workable. I don't think like it's like, for the first couple of months, I'll be thinking, I'm not really sure where this is going, but I'm still just going to go along with it. I might be more inclined to, to do that, maybe. No, I don't think I, I would. I think it's just about knowing when to call time. So I think you might there, there might be there might be things where you you know you are in disagreement on, or he if it's very clear, okay, you want kids, he doesn't want kids, cool. That's a clear, just let it go and it mm-hmm. don't force mm-hmm. it. But if it's a thing where it's more little things that things that can change, things that can be worked on, you can, it's, that's just more down to, as we said, communicating it. Mm, so yeah. if it's like, okay, listen, you're doing this, I don't like it, mm. C- can we change it? Mm. Yeah, cool, let's try to change it. Try for a couple of months, no change, then cool, I'd say, mm. let it go. But I think, oh, I'm, I'm one to, if a situation is not good, leave it. Like, I'm an advocate for that. But I think when you're committing to a relationship with someone, obviously you are committing to kind of, give them that little bit Chance. more, yeah, yeah. so if something isn't and working. And nobody's perfect, and this is another thing, like, forgiveness. Mm. If you're in a relationship, you need to, I'm not saying forgive the mad thing, because mm. I won't, but I'm mm. saying, like, little bits. What's the mad thing? Cheating. I think, for me, yeah. cheating is the mad thing. I yeah. could not forgive. In my marriage, or in my serious, serious relationship, I'm, or not even my, in, in, I don't have time for it. Yeah. Like, no, yeah. I don't, some people can tolerate it, and I respect it, and you move, you pick yourself up, you move up. But for me, mm. just personally, the dis- it's the disrespect it's, yeah. and mm. the disloyal. I don't like disrespect and disloyal people. It just, I think you can come back. I don't think you can ever trust somebody again. Yeah. 
But anyway, like, but forgiveness, innit? Mm. You need to have some element of forgiveness. Yeah. Like, you can't just hold them. Holding feelings. Yeah. yeah. I think that's what a lot of people forget. Like, I know I've done that before. It's like, you, you say you forgive somebody, but you keep bringing up the same thing. Like, what's the mm. point? If you can't actually move on from something, then there's no point staying in the situation. Yeah. But on the topic of, just because you said something about cheating, it just sparks something in my mind. What I think about that is, obviously, I wouldn't stay in a relationship if I was cheated on or whatever, but I feel like... I feel like there's a bit of a gender bias between cheating, I think. What do you mean? Like, I feel like... Like, it's considered to be more brushed under the carpet if a man cheats, but if a girl was to cheat... Mm. Wow, like... <laughs> wow! Yeah! <laughs> oh. but you know, know what? She's just like, yeah, but babe, you know what? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We've Hold seen up. it. I think even with the whole Will and Jada situation, sorry to bring it up again, but no, yeah, that's a, that a wasn't one. even one. that wasn't even necessarily cheating. Obviously, it's more entanglement. Yeah, it's, it's, it's entanglement. <laughs> I think that there was. I think that Will he knew what was going on. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, yeah. He's like, so he it, it was just obviously when it got on top. Now that's when he's had to come. To come. You know, his boy you feel like, shame. Oh, you feel yeah. embarrassed. Yeah, yeah. Like, wow. 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 Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. But if had that been the other way around, and it was Will. And he was keeping up with his thing. I don't think it would be made such a big. It made such no. a. There, there's like there's been a big hoo ha. On yeah. the flip side though, yeah. what she done like in terms of taking and I think she took advantage of um, August. And it yeah. he was vulnerable. He was in. A, he was a lot younger. He was a family friend. Like that's just a no go. And if you're gonna get in an entanglement, use your choose your entanglements yeah, wisely. Yeah. That's my. <laughs> My yeah, everyone's like, why is he saying it now? Why is it? But girls do it all the time. When yeah. they come out, oh, I've had an affair with someone, so he's the time. talking his truth. Yeah, yeah. He was truth. obviously quite sensitive to the situation. It obviously affected him, and I think that's what's different from most situations. Is normally it's the woman that's more emotionally kind of affected by. Mm. Well, that's the that's that. like what society thinks, but yeah, obviously but a lot of men yeah. can be feeling that. Like, I think it's it's good. I I, I like the fact that he. He shared his experience, um, and I, I like the fact that it was such a a, a big thing was made of it because yeah. I think maybe it do, it gives you a, another insight into these kind of situations. Mm. Yeah. Um, and I I do think in this situation, the only villain there really is Jada. is Jada. Yeah, yeah she like, should know better, especially, especially on the platform that she's got right now. Red yeah. Table Talk yeah. coming to make everyone healer. Lay bare. Healer that's causing more wounds. <laughs> yeah, no, literally, it's, it's using. I think your your power, you use your power wisely, in it. Like if you're in a position of power, and you know you someone is, someone put that trust in you. He obviously mm. put trust in her, in mm-hmm. it, and he was very much in love with her. I think, so, and and it mm. was a, I'm sure it was reciprocated. Yeah, but see, that's one thing that you just said. Sorry, this is just what's making my head. I feel like as well. <laughs> into t- sorry, I'm Yeah. Yes. <laughs> anyway, I'm not, not. I feel like as well though, I think what she probably did in that situation is she probably just, oh, well, obviously it's very apparent that she just used him to her advantage. And I think that is very common in today's like society. Like people just, if they can if they can see that they can pull the wool over your eyes and just use you for their like, it might only it might only be a week, two weeks, a month, but then you're just helping them pass time or you're just filling fulfilling their little fantasy for a period of time. They will and you allow them, they will take the piss. But I think that's part of life. Like, mm. not everything's forever. Do you know what I mean? Uh, people come You'll into your life, friends, they go. your colleagues, yeah, work, like that is, anyone. You yeah. have to realise yeah. that it, if, it, if it, it might work for this time, when it stops working... You need to just keep it yeah, moving. That, yeah, that, people need to be, flow, be more receptive of that, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely, but I definitely think, like, in con- like, to conclude things, I think we should, in terms of, like, relationships, we shouldn't really look at what social media kind of portrays, as you were saying earlier, people... And obviously, it's hard, you know, and you see your age mates online, like, it's so weird for me, because I see my age mates, like, it's so weird. Some are married, some like, yeah. got kids, some are out part, like... Everyone's it's hard, at different yeah, stages it's hard not to watch. Lives. Yeah, it's hard not to watch people, and but I just feel like it's important to remember that social media is social media, and mm. where, like, you might see this couple, they're very happily married, had a big, big wedding, Bentlish, and Vivian West <laughs> dress, <laughs> 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 I think it was... But you never know what what's, what's going, going on behind. Yeah. No one's going to post their, their bad stuff. Yeah, or what they've had to do to get there. You don't yeah. know what they've sacrificed. Yeah. So I and think you don't know what's really going on. No, like, no. You know, I mean, people share, as you said, people share their best, their best stuff. parts. Yeah, like, of course. Some people do share the bad parts too, but not, not every, you're not going to put everything out on there. So I yeah. think 
just watch yourself. Like, if you want to have your kids, get married, and do it. Like, don't... Yeah. There's not a, a time on anything. It's not. just about when it's right for you. For yourself, yeah. yeah. And it might not be right and you do it, is what it is. You'll, you'll get over it. Uh, <laughs> make it work. You will come through the other side, yeah. like, I'm telling you. And communication is also key, like, with your partners when you're in a relationship. Definitely. But that's just something internally, isn't it? That's, if you are yeah. a good communicator or not. I or feel like if that helps on it. Yeah, yeah. It does yeah. help. Yeah. And if I it don't that. flow, let it go. All right. I really like that one. <laughs> I actually really, really like that one. <laughs> don't flow, let it go. So like, comment, subscribe. Uh, let us know what you think about this episode. If you've got anything you want us to talk on in our next episode. Follow us on our Instagram, Down, Down to Mars, Mars Official. And our YouTube, at Down to Mars. Um, and thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Can you edit out that bit where I was... Well, definitely. <laughs> <laughs>